Welcome to the NT Supply Thermostat Power Overview video. Now this is important. If you don't feel comfortable working with electricity, please leave this type of work up to the professionals. You could hurt yourself or damage your equipment. We sell lots of high-end thermostats on our websites and there's lots of cool new products available like the Honeywell wireless Red Link thermostats. There's the Prestige touchscreen HD display thermostats. We have other thermostats that can be permanently backlit can be used with the remote sensors and things like that, but many of these use what's called a 20 volt common. And uh, if you have an older thermostat, a mechanical thermostat or one that's battery operated, it probably doesn't have a common. So we're going to talk about how to find the common and whether you have one and things of that nature. If you examine the wiring on the thermostat, the common usually comes to a C terminal, sometimes X, sometimes B, but usually C. And if you test between the, uh, the R terminal and the common, uh, your voltmeter should read just about 24 volts AC. But before you do anything, please turn the power off to your HVAC. So let's say you want to upgrade your heat-only two-wire thermostat to a Honeywell Prestige touchscreen. You pop the uh, cover off and it reveals just two wires going to uh, W and R and that's it. Or let's say you've got a battery-operated thermostat and uh, you want to put a new touchscreen thermostat that requires a common. You see the four wires here, but no common, so you're out of luck. Now, sometimes you can pull a uh, pull the the wiring bundle out of the wall and uh, find an extra wire, like we did with this blue wire. And if you can find where it goes on the other end, uh, then you're in business. Again, we can't emphasize enough. If you're going to open the furnace up, you got to shut the power off. So once you've done that, if you pop the cover off the furnace and uh, try to look for the place where the thermostat wire uh, comes into the compartment, uh, you're going to find a little terminal strip that looks kind of like this in the picture. And it's going to have the same uh, labels that you have on the thermostat. You've got G, W, Y, uh, R. And then this blue wire here, you see that is the 20 volt common that we're looking for. As luck would have it, that's also the other end of that blue wire we found in the bundle down at the thermostat. Here's another uh, circuit board from another furnace. Same terminals. If you uh, were to test between R and the common, you would see 24 volts coming from the transformer. So let's connect a new fancy touchscreen hardwired thermostat. I'm going to attach that common wire here. And uh, you'll notice this is a, uh, a dual powered stat. It can use batteries or hardwire. I'm not going to have any batteries in it at all. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put it on the wall and turn the power on uh, up in the furnace room and let's see how we did. All right, we got power. We are in business. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, please do give us a call at 866-764-9900.